Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can make passive income through the use of bingo cards inside of Canva. So the first thing you want to do is sign up for Canva if you haven't already. I have the pro version, which is $12.99 a month, but you can stick with the free version if you wish. Um, so with this bingo cards, you can create so many themes and resell these items on Etsy, Gumroad, or you can create your own um, Shopify store, which is what I recommend. But let's get into this process. This is going to be a quick and simple video. I don't want you guys to get bored of me talking. So I like to go straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is... Um, go inside of canva doesn't really matter the size um, i normally stick with 8.5 by 11 for my size but it's totally up to you what you decide to do and what works best for your bingo cards so when you come in here it's going to look like this it's going to be blank and what you want to do the trick is if you scroll down to the left hand side where it says apps you want to click on this and type in bingo cards You want to click this first option right here. And now here you have it. Now they already have some options um, according to whatever theme that you want to do. You see they have countries, Harry Potter, Christmas, Halloween, uh, football, and songs. So we're just going to take one for example. Let's go with countries. And it's going to give you the words according to your theme. Okay. So we're going to scroll down. The grid size, the typical bingo cards are five by five, so we're gonna go with that. The number of cards depends on how many you want to do, if you wanna do 10, 20, however many you want. And then the font size or the font types, you just choose whatever fonts that you like. Let's go with Bradley Hand, let's see. Okay, and then you wanna keep this on draw grid lines so the lines show up on the bingo card. And after you complete those things, you want to click create bingo cards. And it will generate every single bingo card. So we have 10. It's going to generate all 10 bingo cards. Quick and very easy. So as you, as you can see, as we're going through them, not all of them are the, are the same, right? Which, you know, that's how the bingo cards work, the game. So let's say we click on one. We're going to customize it a little bit more. And it will pop up over here. So let me zoom in just a tad. Okay. So you could do something like this. And then if you want to make the words at the top, we're going to go back to the left hand side and go to text, go to add a heading, and then we're going to type out our bingo letters. So we're going to put this up here. Then I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to put our I duplicate again for our in and then we're just going to duplicate those two put our G put our O okay and of course you can make this more fancier if you wish you know since we're dealing with countries we can go over here to elements We can let's see let's see what pops up. And then you can use something like this to decorate it, make it a little fancy. So let me highlight. Well, let me do this. I'm going to do this. Let's see. Highlight this, and we're going to group this. We'll make this smaller. That way we have some room. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a frame around this. So I'm going to get a square. Then we 
we're just going to use this as a frame. We're going to make this white. Tap these lines, border style, put a border around there. And then in order for this to show, we're going to go to position backwards. And there we go. We got a little frame. And if you want to add a line under here where it says bingo, just to separate it. So something like that. If you want to make your lines a little deeper in here, you can do that. And you know sometimes how we have the free space in the middle. You can just take you a little circle and put that right there. Let's change this to like a blue, make it a little vibrant. We're going to take our same little and then you can put that right there as a free space. Let's see. Let's see how this looks as the background. Okay, make it a little vibrant. So that's cool. So what you would do is just go in here and edit each card. Um, make sure you also create the game pieces just by printing all of the uh, countries out according to the letters at the top, the bingo letters. So I hope this video was helpful. I wanted to show you guys a little trick on how to create passive income doing only just bingo cards. And you can list this on Etsy, Gumroad, or create your own Shopify store, which is what I recommend once again. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these things, make sure you subscribe and drop a comment so we can talk. All right, see you next time.